What's up everybody, it's Jack here. I'm a Shopify developer here at Section Store. And in this video, I'm gonna be going over how you can add conversion blocks like the ones that you see here to the product page on Shopify. So as you can see, this is just a standard Shopify product page, but we've got these reviews at the top here, this in stock icon, these little features here. We have a sale ends in countdown timer, the payment icons under the buy button, and the section at the bottom making the right hand side of this page look really clean. You can see in the same theme when I remove the conversion blocks what a difference it makes. This is a product page that no customer is going to buy from. But this product page has got elements like these that you see on really popular and successful e-commerce brands. So I'm going to go over how you can add all of these to any theme in under 5 minutes. It only requires one app. You don't have to write any code and you can have these in your store for life. So the app that I'm going to be using for this is the Section Store app. It's a component library of Shopify sections that plug into any Shopify theme. For these specifically, I'm going to head to the Conversion Blocks tab, and as you can see, we've got 10 conversion blocks here. There's social proof or reviews, shipping info, benefits, payment icons, and a bunch of others here with more getting added. We have reviews and coupons. When you start this fresh, you'll have an Add to Theme button here, and you just select the ones that you want and add them into your theme. You can use as many or as little as you want. Now you've got them installed in the theme, you can come over to the theme editor on the product page. We're going to add these in the product information section. So expand this tab. As you can see, I've already got a few added here. So to add a new one, we're going to use this add block functionality. Go to apps, scroll down until you find the ones by section store, and then select the ones that you want. I want to add a review summary in this instance, so I'm going to select the review summary block. And as you can see, we now have this review summary over here. You can reorder these or move these around by dragging them up and down. For example, if I want this on top of the benefits list, I can move it here and you can see it's now appearing here at the top of the page. For all of these conversion blocks, you edit them right here in the theme editor, so they're super easy to do and you can do it while you're customizing the rest of your theme. As you can see for this one, the first setting we have is alignment, so I can change this to left aligned for example, sentry or right aligned. We then have a custom stars icon. If you don't like the stars icon, you want to upload your own one, something that matches a bit better with your brand, you can upload an image here and it's going to replace these stars. Next we have a stars count, so you can choose what the rating is going to be or how many stars are filled out, two and a half. I can change this all the way up to five. We have the size, you can adjust the size and then the gap between the stars, particularly relevant if you're using a custom image. Next we have the star color when it's not filled out. So right now if the star is not filled out, it's white and then the filled out star is green and then we also have an unfilled option, so really customizable. Next, we have some text. So this is the text that's going to appear here on the left-hand side. Right now, I have this as excellent. You can change the font size, choose a color, etc. Following that, we have second text. So this is obviously this reviews on the right-hand side here. I've got the amount of reviews I have entered in here. I've chosen my font size and my color. Finally, down the bottom, we have a few appearance settings. You can change this from no border, dotted or solid. You can add roundness to the border if you want to, make the background a color or keep it transparent, and then a few bits of padding. The process is the same for all of these conversion blocks. You just edit and add them right here in the theme editor. So for these reviews or social proof at the top, again, I just click on this icon here, and then I have all my settings on the right-hand side. I can upload a custom profile image for each of these users, change the size of that image. I can change the text to put some customers' names here or people who have given reviews or any other text that I want. Again, change the size, the color, the checkmark color, add a border if I want to, roundness, add a background, etc. As you can see, it's really easy to do with very repeatable settings. The same thing is going to appear in the other one. So for this benefits list, much the same, a custom icon, add all of your custom text, really customize this to your store. The same thing with the countdown timer. Check how you can add a time when you want this to finish the countdown. Payment icons as well. You can either take the ones from your store or you can add custom payment icons. And then the same thing with the benefits down the bottom. Customize them right here in the theme editor. Once you're happy with how it's all looking, you've rearranged them on the left-hand side and got everything looking how you want. You can preview them on desktop and mobile and then save the theme. And there you have it. That was a super quick tutorial on how you can add these really highly in-demand conversion blocks to your Shopify theme. As we can see here, they look great on the product page. They're easy to set up in the theme editor. There's no application that you're working with settings inside of and there's no custom coding. There's 10 of them at the moment and there's more to come in the app. But if you have any questions about these, how to set them up, what's coming or you have a suggestion, feel free to reach out. Otherwise, keep an eye because we're going to be releasing more very soon.